Hey everybody, it's Glenn back in this video with these Funko Pops because once you pop, you can't stop. Mm, and now I want Pringles. But back to these and here we have Black Suit, Spider-Man and Venom. These were exclusives at a store called Walgreens in the US. Yep, the dreaded US store exclusives. Just what we international collectors hate to hear. Thankfully, albeit later than their stateside release, these are an underground toys exclusive here in the UK. I got these online from Forbidden Planet. Not sure of availability beyond there though. Looking at the back and also in this series of Spider-Man 2099 and The Punisher. Had those added to my basket at one point on Forbidden Planet's site, but alas when I checked out, dug down the back of the sofa and only had enough for two. Since then of course you may have heard Punisher has hit the headlines being cast in season two of Netflix's Daredevil, so collectors might be chomping at the bit to get him more than they were previously. Here they are both out of their packages. These two are a match made in heaven. Yeah, with Spidey in the black costume, which would later evolve into Venom, maybe we should consider it a match made in hell. Now I know pops are pretty divisive. Anything with a distinct style tends to form a love or hate relationship. I think the bobbleheads put many off. It's only the Marvel and Star Wars pops that have them. It's just a way Funko can bypass licensing and not have Hasbro lawyer up on them. Me personally, I've warmed to pops with time and always find it interesting how familiar character designs like Marvel characters get filtered through the lens of pops distinct style. And that's a style which does does lend itself to Spider-Man with the minimalism of Pops and the black Spider-Man suit marrying together well. So the sculpt is pretty much blank, he's got clenched fists, no web slinging here, he's ready to go toe to toe and blow to blow with Venom. Then the eyes and spider symbol are all deco, disappointingly the legs of the front and back spider symbols don't meet up at the sides of his body as they should, yet the application is really crisp. To that end Funko have upped their game here, but it does pay if you can to buy in store as the application of decos can vary greatly from pop to pop. Which brings us to Venom, and unfortunately at the other end of the deco spectrum. The white of the spider logo doesn't have the best coverage leaving it looking patchy, and for the eyes the deco's been slopped on with some splashes of white paint on the black surround of the eyes. It's like these two have been made at entirely different factories, with Venom seemingly made in that factory from Netflix's Daredevil that's run by Madame Gao and staffed by blind people. Unfortunately, I sometimes have no choice but to buy blind online, cross my fingers and hope for the best. It's just a shame that the deco on Venom distracts from what is otherwise a creepy cute sculpt, with Venom's gnashing smile and lashing tongue. If he could talk, he'd say, I want to eat your brains. More subtly in the sculpt, I like that the fingers are more claw-like, and even Venom's feet are slightly more pointed compared to Spider-Man's. Maybe I am overreacting about the sloppy deco. Sure, I've got the customizing skills to make some simple adjustments, but when I cough up the cash, I shouldn't have to, right? Anyway, for more pops, check out my review of Professor X and Magneto. I sure would appreciate it if you could give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe for more, and I hope to see you next time. Mm, bye.